This is Biker Dad, brought to you by Stevenson Clots and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. My name is Chris Best, and exactly one year ago today, I left my 25 year corporate career to ride motorcycles and tell stories. And today, that adventure brings me well home. I'm here at my home base in Mobile, Alabama, at Mobile Harley Davidson. It is a huge day for us. We've got a lot going on to celebrate one year of Biker Dad TV. First off, we're gonna do a ride for my friend, Christina Garcia. Just to have people come out that don't know you. Um, and they're like, hey, we're here. She's been fighting breast cancer and bikers have been rallying behind her for months. We're gonna get an update on how she's doing and see the ride to help Christina. Plus, the rusty, dusty heritage we pulled out of a pile of dirt, debris, and junk and brought it back to life. We've been working on this one for months and you're finally gonna see the Heritage Project in its full. And believe me, you don't wanna miss this beauty. And a little bit of a taste of my friends, the Red Clay Strays, this rock band that is going to blow off the roof tonight at their debut of their first ever album. COVID shut them down. These are definitely some people who rock and they support the biker community too. So we're gonna check that out as well. It's one year of Biker Dad TV Productions. Let's roll. Hey, I'm Kimberly Tomko. I'm the marketing manager with Mobile Bay Harley Davidson. We are doing a poker run for Christina. She's actually a friend of Chris's. Um, she was struggling with breast cancer and we're just hoping to help her with some of her medical bills. It's a journey that honestly, I didn't think I was gonna be able to make before this happened. And just with each day and each step, it wasn't easy, but it was something that just had to get done. So you just do it. There's a lot of questions along the way and there, there's been some really deep bumps in the road, but overall, I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> this means a lot. A, she's a friend of yours, which means she's obviously gonna be a friend of ours, and it's just a good cause. I mean, anytime we can help somebody that has an immediate need, you know, we're all about it. It's, this is the second time we've done this, and I appreciate each and every person that comes out. And it, as many times as Christina and I have have ridden, we didn't realize on how much um, just people showing up, uh, you know, helps that, that support the, that really I haven't seen in any other group. I haven't seen in any other type of group. It's just these guys. Uh, they just want to support you. They want to, you know, show you that, you know, you're doing, a gr you're doing great. You're still here and you're moving forward. We just want to support you. It, it's an overwhelming sense of gratitude. How y'all doing? I'm Chef Danny over at PS Taco Westmobile. I have a uh, recent, about two years ago, I had an uncle. Uh, he was uh, a motorbike. He drove motorbikes. He had a, uh, a Harley Davidson. Sometimes I came a big gold wing or something. I think it was. Uh, he was coming home from a family reunion. Car uh, rush pushed him off the road, threw him up in the air, and he uh, lost his life on impact at the moment. So when you tell me what your cause was or what you stood for, I instantly knew I wanted to be part of it and had to have have to have some type of dealings with it. And just recently, I, two or three days ago, I just had a cousin just lost his life, bicycle, they, uh, riding his motorbike. He had a Habasa, Habusa, so that's just recently to me too. So, yeah, it spoke to me. We, we're all about giving back. If we can help any way possible, it, it, with any way, with, no matter what the cause is, any kind of way that we can help, you know what I'm saying? Between myself and the, my owners here, Kanisha Davis, we're all about giving. Any, any type of way that we can help or we feel that we, we're needed to assist in any way possible, we're all about it. I don't have the words to express exactly how much, uh, how thankful I really am that people just, I just reach out and want to help her out. That's an amazing feeling. It, it really is. Just to have people come out that don't know you. Um, and they're like, hey, we're here. We, we, you know, you got a cause. This is what we're, what we're here for. And, you know, I, I've had people walk up and be like, hey, I hope you're doing good. So. 
It doesn't take a lot, right, to just show up. And Chris and I have this conversation all the time. All you have to do is just show up. Um, it means a whole lot to people, and I don't think that everyone always sees the bigger picture of how someone who's having a medical issue and maybe they're not in the right frame of mind and maybe they're struggling mentally with some other things, just show up for them and it means a whole lot and can really change kind of their outlook. For us, it's that fellowship that, that we have all one thing in common is the motorcycle and, and feeling free and feeling the wind through your face. But to ride for somebody, to help raise money for somebody else is, it's a good way to show that, you know, we're here, we care about you, we're glad you're here, and we want to help out in any way we can. And that just seems to be the community, or the biker community, and that's just, it's basically just what we do. He has been my rock. He has went to me with every single chemo, has taken me to every single radiation. He sat with me for a day and a half in the hospital after my mastectomy. And when we got home from the mastectomy, he was, let me get you this. Do you need some water? Do you need, what do you, what do you need? What do you need? He, he, he was everything to me, and that just means the world. But thank you, Biker Dad, for helping us out, man. I, and thank you, Mobile Harley Davidson, too, for, for doing this, man. I, you guys got me right there. I really appreciate you guys. A couple of people to really give a shout out to, they're not here right now, but the Life Riders Christian Motorcycle um, Ministry came by, like 10 of them. They couldn't ride, but they each gave me 20 bucks and they also wrote a check to Christina for $500. So that's incredible. And the other thing that tells you how far these, the biker community reaches is the mayor of Mobile, Mayor Sandy Stimson, in case you don't know who he is, um, showed up to Bob's and donated uh, to Christine as well, $100. So, and thank you guys. Thank you to him. And Jason can attest to this. Uh, he's not my biggest fan. I did a lot of investigative reports at WKRG that he did not like. He was in my office with the chief of police intimidating me a couple times. So for him to show up and donate to our event, that's awesome and it shows a lot. And he is a really good mayor, even though we did uncover some stuff. So thanks to him. Um, and that money's still on the way, but right now in this pouch, there's over $1,300. Small group of people put that much money together. And so I want to give that to you and tell you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. That's all. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is the second project we did together, but it's the first one that was from ground up. A lot of you guys were here when we unveiled the Elvis paint job. Um, what happened with this bike is I heard there was this 2016 uh, Heritage soft tail sitting in a barn that wasn't being ridden, and but they didn't buy it because it had flat tires. I was like, what the? You didn't buy a 2016 Heritage? With... It wasn't a 2016, it was a 2006, and it was buried under about six inches of dirt and what else? A pile of junk, all kinds of stuff. We literally did some American Picker stuff going on to get this thing out of there. So Garrett injured himself getting this out of the pile <laughs> of junk. We had, the brakes were locked up, everything on it. Um, but when we once we got it um it's a 2006 heritage soft tail had a fairing on it had bags on it once we got it and cleaned it up we realized we could really just wash this change out a few parts and probably sell it for like seven thousand bucks but we're like that's boring we don't want to do that so we decided to tear it all the way apart took pretty much everything off of the bike and rebuilt it from the ground up the only thing that's original on it is the frame and the engine and the tank, we kept the tank um, because, and just painted it. It was a rusty, dusty piece of garbage. Do I want to do a drum roll? <laughs> Good night. That is a lot of work. So the good thing about this bike is it only had 10,000 miles on it. And, and so, oh, man, that's awesome. brand new Heritage Ta -da! Basically, we did a four inch stretch rear fender. We did a street glide, street glide front fender and uh, stripped the tank, 
painted it all nice blue candy with some lace, uh, painted the sprockets, and uh, I probably buttload of hours just polishing this thing, getting all the crud and the corrosion off of it, and uh, I think it turned out really nice. New bars, new tail lights, cables, exhaust. So, so the, every piece it. of chrome on the engine you see was covered in rust. Um, the pipes are new. That tail light is new, the handlebars are new, but all the other chrome uh, was covered in surface rust, but luckily it was just surface rust. Um, my favorite part of the bike, um, I swear we're gonna do a bike that's not blue one of these days, but um, <laughs> Garrett painted the sprocket blue, which is something you never see. And um, we put 14 inch apes on there. I know people like the 18s or whatever, but we wanted to make this rideable. And if somebody buys it and they wanna put 16 inch apes on it, we'll, we'll change them out. Um, the seat's very uncomfortable, but it looks cool. <laughs> I've gotten to ride it 10 miles so far, and it's a favorite of the three that I have at the moment. It rides like a dream. It's an awesome bike. Biker Day. Hey, I'm Dr. Glenn Glass of Glass Orthodontics. Orthodontics, we're not really treating a disease. This is about aesthetics, this is about feel good, you boil it all down, this is about self-esteem. So we try to make it fun, and we just try to make it a great experience for everybody. If you want the straightest choppers in the southeast, you come on down, this is where you get them. Bike nights are back. It is warming up. Let's ride. Every first Thursday of the month, starting in March at Eagles Talon on Copter Road. Come say hi to Martha. Get a nice drink. Get some good food and maybe get a patch for your vest. You can even get a biker dad patch if you ask nicely. Eagles Talon for all your gear, patches, apparel, and everything else biker. And also just want to say thank you to Martha and her team for 13 years of serving the biker community on the Gulf Coast. There's a little place in downtown Mobile on the corner of Fat and Happy, and it's one of my favorites. Bob's Downtown Diner isn't just a great place to eat, and home of the best French toast you'll ever eat is one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. It's also an important part of the community, and not just the biker community. I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful for the, the bikers that I meet from all over the country. Bob's is a hot spot for bikers and very biker friendly, but it's also family friendly. I like to bring my kids here Sunday after church for brunch. Please visit my friend Tony Sawyer at Bob's Downtown Diner and check them out on the corner of fatandhappy.com. This is Nacho Typical Taco. P.S. Taco on Cottage Hill in West Mobile loads them with fresh ingredients and they make everything, and I mean everything, right here in the restaurant. Chef Danny and her staff create the season, the sauce, and everything in between. We call me uh, upscale tacos, where everything is made here in the kitchen, so it is the flavors. P.S. Taco on Cottage Hill Road in West Mobile. Definitely worth a ride to eat. Go check them out. Here's the Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson Bike of the Week. Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson Bike of the Week. It's time for this week's Bike of the Week, and we have something big, bad, and special. This is a Harley Tri-Glide. That means it has three wheels, but it's also a CDO, which means it can roll out. Steve with Harley-Davidson is here to talk to us about this big, beautiful bike. Yep, so it's a certified pre-owned 2021 CDO Tri-Glide with 24 whole miles on it. The guy that owned it last, Never rode it. Our technicians put all the uh, miles on it. One of the big things about Tri-Glides is comfort. So this has pretty much everything my Infiniti SUV has on it, right? Yep, so you got uh, Sirius XM radio, heated seats, heated hand grips, GPS, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, traction control, pretty much everything you could ask for on a trike. Parking brake. So this looks like, because I'll never do this again, this looks like I could just come back here. Oh, yeah, I could take a nap right here. Yeah, I, could. I've seen people do it too. I've this actually saw extremely I've actually, comfortable. I've sold trikes to women just so their husbands could ride on the back. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So let's jump in the front seat. So, uh, like we said, comfort is a big part of this, but this is also a really powerful bike too. CBO means something, right? Yep. So it's got the 117 cubic inch engine in it. That is. Uh, 
swing pool, so it's going to have a water cooler as well as an oil cooler, um, and it's also an air-cooled motorcycle as well. Um, it is a very, very comfortable motorcycle for interstate riding. Um, I've sold these to people that take them across country. Um, great, great motorcycle, and one of a kind in color. So this is one of a kind custom paint job? One of a kind for the CVOs. You're not going to find this on any other stock yeah, that, Harley that, Davidson. That's what I was going to say too. Uh, paint on CBO is another upgrade you get. This thing is like a orange red sunburst kind of thing. Yep. The other thing that sets the CBO trike apart from regular trikes is the wheels. The wheels actually fill up more of the fender wells than they do on your standard model trikes. Um, so that's a really nice feature. They're slightly wider as well. So it makes it look like a little bit more like a low rider and not popped up even though it's the same stance. Premium. All right, one thing I always have to remember when I get on one of these is not to put my feet down and not to lean. So yeah. I gotta remember that. Also, one thing that's on this bike that I don't think was even on the last track I rode, there's a parking brake. So it won't roll downhill at your mama's house, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is Paul Sr. and you're watching Biker Dad TV. Hey, this is Alika and I'm taking my next steps on learning how to ride a dirt bike. First, we learned how to go and stop. Then my dad taught me how to turn. Now he's going to let me go and turn and do whatever I want. Alright, let's fire it up. This is Biker Dad. This is my prized possession, my pride and joy, my Dyna Harley Davidson. We call it Elvis. And when Elvis's paint was starting to fade and show its age, I trusted my friend Garrett at Black Sprocket Garage to give him a whole new look. And he knocked it out of the park. He can do the same thing for you, and he does it affordably. So if you want to get a one of a kind custom paint job but don't want to pay one of a kind prices, hit up Garrett at Black Sprocket Garage, and you better do it before we make him famous, and you can still afford him. Phone number, website, everything's right there on the screen. Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson is the king of motorcycle credit. Good credit, bad credit, we'll get you riding. With over 150 new and used motorcycles available, we have a motorcycle for you and your budget. New Harley-Davidson motorcycles starting as low as $119 a month. The professional team in MotorClothes is also here to help make sure that you're geared up for the riding season from head to toe. Come on down to Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson on the corner of Pleasant Valley Road and Cottage Hill and see the king of motorcycle credit. Your home for Lex and Terry in the morning rocks your workday with Pretty Reckless. On my tombstone when I go, just put up by rock and roll. Foo Fighters. Available on over 2,000 smart devices. The Gulf Coast Rock Station, TK101. Well, it may seem like I'm everywhere lately, but I really can't be everywhere. And that's where I need your help. 
I'm looking for your videos of cool biker stuff from across the country. Whether you're going to a big rally, or you're helping out a little kid with cancer, or you're just doing burnouts in the parking lot. Please send me your videos. You can hit us up everywhere, tvbikerdad.com. Just search TV Biker Dad, and while you're doing that, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love to have your videos. Please send them pictures to your kids ride motorcycles. Send it to us, please, tvbikerdad.com. This week's tech tip is brought to you by Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson. Sun's out, fun's out. Even up north, it's starting to warm up and people are starting to ride. And one of the big things that can really help out your ride is a good pair of sunglasses. And right. those don't look like sunglasses, but they kind of are. Yeah, these are one of our favorites. We obviously have a large selection of sunglasses here, but this is the tunnel. Um, and it's got the cool click air gasket. So you can actually press right here and you can open your gasket to control the amount of airflow that you receive. This is closed. Um, also, this gasket is removable and replaceable. So if your gasket wears out over time, no need to replace the sunglasses. You can just get a new gasket. Notice the lenses are clear. That's because they're light adjusting. So these go from day to night. Go out into the daylight, the UV rays hitting the lens. You're going to get a light smoke effect. But if you're riding at night, they will remain clear for you. So the best of both worlds, day and night and customizable airflow through that replaceable gasket. Cool, so yeah, just uh, like she said, if you if you aren't familiar with these, it's like wearing a pair of goggles, but not looking like the Red Baron in the 1940s, so. <laughs> They're really comfy to you. Especially if they you like wear good. half helmets or flip your visor mm -hmm. open because it's hot. All right, thanks right. Valerie for this week's Tech Tip. Now, Biker Dad Show brings you people who rock. As I said earlier in the show, May 7th is my one year anniversary of leaving my job to ride motorcycles and tell stories. It also just happened to be the day my friends with the amazing band Red Clay Strays released their album and had a huge album release party in Fairhope, Alabama and just rocked the house. So the Biker Dad crew went to the Red Clay Strays to celebrate our friend's new album and also one year of Biker Dad TV Productions. Thank you all for watching and thanks the Red Clay Strays for your support. And we'll see you someday in an arena with 20,000 people instead of this amphitheater with a few thousand, but it was an awesome show. 
This is Biker Dad, brought to you by the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Here at Stevenson Klotz, we practice personal injury law. Our job is to help those who are in need. It's about making people motivated to do the right thing. And when I take on a case and get involved in a case, it becomes very personal to me. We strive to make sure that you're informed and that you know that we've got your back. You've got someone experienced who's gonna walk side by side with you and fight for you. It's something that Eric and I both take really seriously and it's something that we both get a great deal of pleasure out of from being able to help people at that level. I have the ability to help those who can't help themselves and we can really change people's lives through what we do. My daughter and I were hit from behind by a vehicle that was traveling about 70, 80 mile an hour and the rest of the traffic was stopped. The interaction with the team here at Stevenson and Klotz was fantastic. They were very caring. They were very concerned about us. My favorite thing was just getting to know them as people. Their care, their concern, their focus on our total well-being. We could not have asked for anything else. It was just phenomenal. I would recommend them to anyone and everyone. We are going to be that law firm that gets to know you. And if we do a good job of telling the story for our client, then everybody's gonna be better off. You know, when you're in a band, it is like being in a family. We do everything we can to try to fine tune our practice just like we would our band. It's critical to whatever degree is humanly possible to live that story for the client. And that law firm is gonna be us. This is Biker Day. Our Back on Two stories are brought to you by Stevenson Klotz and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. I was on Moffat Road near Popeyes. Uh, someone slammed on brakes in front of me. They didn't put on their turn signal. I tried to go around on the right side. When I did, they turned into Popeyes and it pretty much crippled the whole left side of my body. Didn't know uh, what kind of hassle it was being handicapped until I actually experienced it. Like parking places, Walmart sucks. <laughs> uh, the motorized wheelchairs in Walmarts are always taken. Uh, it's just pain in the ass. Like if I didn't have anybody to help me with my wheelchair, I had to do it myself, hopping around on one leg. So taking a bath too, that was a hassle. And uh, to get on a motorcycle, I just got this one about two months ago. So it's, it was almost two years. It's a stress relief. It's kind of like meditation, really. I enjoy it. It gets my mind off things. This is Biker Dad. Okay, that's it for this episode of the Biker Dad TV show here from Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson in Mobile, Alabama. Can you believe it's been one year of Biker Dad TV? It's one year to the date that I left my 25-year corporate career to ride motorcycles and tell stories. I want to thank you for coming along for the ride and thank you for your support. We'll see you next week right here on Biker Dad TV. And until then, please look twice for motorcycles. Biker Dad. Biker Dad.